Hey guys, it's one of the C's from CDJ, and I'm here doing another segment of Connor's Corner. So, on my topic today, it seems like stuff, for some reason, the city seems to be placing buildings in an odd way. When I was driving down to go out to my cabin the other day, we passed by the McDonald's, we went in, we got an ice cream cone, we came out the drive through what do we see on the other side of the road? We see a gym. A gym right across the road from the McDonald's. And I'm thinking, why the hell would it be there? Is that so fat people come out of McDonald's and suddenly just get in shape? Didn't work. It's, it's retarded. It's so retarded. I'm thinking, I'm sorry, just, are the people placing these things freaking mental? I don't know what to think of it. If you guys end up seeing that, leave a comment. Leave a comment that you have seen that. It's just when I got out. When I got finally got out to the lake, me and my sister we went tubing. It's the most fun you'll ever have. It's tubing. It's it's a blast when you fall off. It's just when you get going so fast, you're thinking if I bail out, I'm gonna lose something here. So you're not bailing off, you're trying to tell them to slow down, but you're too afraid to let go of the handle, you're like... <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. But then, I ended up falling off around five times. My sister didn't fall off once. It's because she had the best seat. The middle. <sighs> but yeah, when we were docking the boat, no, that's when I changed it. When she, when she was, uh... We're about to get off. My dad tells her, he's like, Ashley, the rope's caught in the thing. Can you untangle it? Okay. So she goes up, and she's trying to untangle it. As soon as she finishes, what do I think to do? Push her right in the water. She was so spazzing out at me. It was so stupid. When I got on the dock, she tried, I don't know why, but she tried to splash me. I just got knocked off a tube going 20 miles an hour. I don't think a little spritzy water is going to hurt me. <sighs> I, mean, I don't know what she's thinking. Anyway, another comment on my sister. Dude, I swear, I think she's getting as fat as she's getting moody. Like, at the end of the weekend when we were cleaning up stuff, I'm trying to help her strap the uh, tarp over the boat. But no, she won't take my help. She's like, I say, Ashley, you're doing it wrong. There's a simple way. All you have to do is loop the cord under and hook it onto the other side. It's like, no, that's not how you do it. So I did it. It fits perfectly. It's like, no, I want to do it by myself. It's like, okay. So I finished up the work and I come back about 15 minutes later. There she is. Still hadn't figured it out. Just trying another thing. Like, Ashley, just hook the darn thing under. Gosh. So he's like, no, I don't want to hook it under. Why not? Because I want to do it my own way. What own way? There's only one way. It's so stupid. Another thing, when I got home, I was playing my Xbox. Me and my sister, we got into a fight. Wouldn't you know it? I just watched Predator that, that day, so when we were fighting, my mom. Where is he? No. We were fighting. I managed to knock her down, she was, so she's on the ground. She's getting back up. And I just figured to say, Come on, kill me. What you want? Come on, kill me. Do it. What you waiting for? Kill me. So retarded. Then she gets up, I push her down again. Come on, kill me, do it, kill me, what are you waiting for? So stupid. She fell for that about five times more until she got sick of it and left. Then she came back with a weapon. She went to the silverware place, got a wooden spoon. Little did she know that she, that she had no clue how to use it whatsoever. I had it out of her hand in a good half a minute. 
<sighs> yeah. I got back from camp, too. That was a funny place, camp. I was, I was wrong on my first video. There was, it was not as bad as I thought it would be. It was actually really funny. I think the funniest part was probably, at the, at the first day, I knew this was going to be a hell of a week, because as we're going, my friend, he gets the smart idea to tuck the short, tuck these shorts into his pants to make it look like he has a big... And so when we're walking through the girls' cabins to get to our cabins, we see our first group of girls. He goes up, there he goes, this is my package. God delivered it, I signed for it. He's going through like that. We're just laughing so much. The girls' reactions are like, ah! so funny. And then you walk by one of the girls' actual cabins. They came out, the first thing they see, and they're freaking out too. I actually heard a girl scream. So, <laughs> we're walking through that. They're freaking out. The guy's like, hey, eyes are up here, honey. It's so retarded. Another thing when I was camping, a couple of my friends from Saskatoon, they were camping with us. We were, uh, we were waiting out, uh, the fire there. We were just, like, cracking jokes and stuff, then eventually one of us they gets the bright idea to start the that's what she said joke. It's so funny. Apparently I was the one who started it, so. But my, what my friend did, he took one of the sticks and he shoved it in one of the, uh, event holes for the uh, fireplace he says wow I can't believe that fit that's what she said goldfish But anyway, that's my segment. That's my segment for now. Leave comments on how you thought about this, and see you later. That is the news, and I am out of here. Come on, man. Let's go hit the bar. All right.